Okay, so in this part, we now move over to either decrease in taxable supplies or increase over here. I hope you can see it in taxable supplies. I've abbreviated taxable supplies to be TS on this side. I hope you can see it. I uh, hope you can hear me clearly. At least you can apply that uh, terminology to what I've just elaborated. So basically, uh, before we get into that discussion, SARS now says if there's an decrease or an increase of a more than 10% difference, then you can actually process a change in use adjustment, uh, whether it be in the direction of output VAT or input VAT, it doesn't matter as long as that particular increase is more than 10%. For minimum, uh, for, for lower uh, changes that are lower than your 10% threshold in terms of the percentage which makes it applicable to change, it does not matter. We, we're not interested. So how do we deal with a situation where you have two periods where you have like uh, uh, in, uh, smaller increases and where you have like a period that has a bigger increase and a smaller increase? We'll basically elaborate with these two arrows of what we basically dotted down. Say that we in this first arrow, we've got a uh, period one, 2001. Let's call this 2001, and let's call this 2002, basically. So in 2002, we had uh, a change in use of 10%. So SAR says, in this regard, we can apply the change in use. In the second year, we had a, a change of 5%. So in this instance, we can apply the change uh, thingy. Uh, we can apply a change in use adjustment. So that would be a, a simplified situation. So what happens in a situation where 2001 now, we had a change of percentage use of only 5%, and in the following year, which was 2002, we had a change uh, of only 8%. So still, that would say uh, we still below the 10%. So what happens is that in the first period, we could not process a change because it was only for 5%. So that was less than 10%. So we could not process a change because of the 10% rule that we've been given. However, in the second period, we've got 8%, which is also less than 10%, however, uh, 10% as well. But however, considering that we never processed, took into account 5% in the first year, we can now aggregate these two periods. And if they agree to be in more than 10% in this situation, therefore there's a, there's a change that we can process. So in this regard, when, when we add 5% and 8% and we get 13%. So therefore, 13% change will have to be applicable. So this is more than 10%. So therefore, we can apply a change in rule, change, change, uh, change, change in use adjustment to be 13% in the actual period because we never took this 5% uh, into account. So therefore, it will be applicable in 2002 to actually process a change in use of 13%. And that's how we deal with this situation. And that's what we do with those percentages that tend to be lower than 10%. I hope that covers uh, that gray area so that we can go forward with like particular examples.